I could get the watch party up. Oh, no, it's not a minute early anymore. It's, it's 2.30. I had to think about what time it was again. Okay, so let me get this up on the watch party. This is my gorgeous sister, Kelly. Hey. She is the admin <laughs> and the creator of the recipe ideas for sugar-free, flour-free Facebook page. And it is so fun having that page and having everyone on there sharing recipes and everything. It's so fun. Yes. That's what I'm sharing the video, getting the watch party for right now. Okay. It's posting, posting. And we got to click on it so then we can chat the whole time. Because that's like my favorite part is chatting with you guys. Here okay. we are. Then I got to turn the sound down so you don't hear yourself. Kelly, what's it called? It's called Let's Get Cooking Mango Bake <laughs> and Peanut Butter Apple Parfait. That's what it's called. Okay, so Kelly has been like raving over this mango bank yes. since I made it. Oh, we went on a trip and I decided I'm making everybody a mango bake. And then she was like, oh my goodness, this is the best. So she's been making it more than I have. I've made it like two or three times and it was I, really yummy. I've never been a mango person. I didn't like mango until this bake. So mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. have to try it. Yes, so today is the perfect opportunity. Hi, Amy. Hi, Lois. Thank you for joining me. So Kelly is actually gonna lead us in this recipe, and it, this will this this recipe is not in a cookbook yet, but it will be coming soon. So how hot should I turn the oven on to? Uh, turn it to 350. 350. So we're gonna preheat our oven. Let's turn this on. Great. All right, we got it preheating. Are we making one? We're gonna make two, cause I want breakfast too. You know. Awesome. So we both have our scales. Kelly accidentally broke her scale, or it, you know, things happen. I it dropped happens. it a few times, but life well, happens. So I got her a red one, like my little pink one. So we have matching scales, and I thought, oh, I'm gonna get her a cute color. These are the Escali Primo from Amazon. So if you're wondering what it is, and they're cheaper than fifty dollars. Yeah, I think they were like twenty, twenty-five, and that's not bad. And the shipping, and they come in really cute colors. There's like orange and blue and pink and gray and black and normal colors and all that stuff. I know Lois. Lois had gotten a Escali Primo scale. And I think, did you get the blue one or the black one? She had sent me a picture. It was so cute. I'm so excited. <laughs> all right. So what do we do here? Kyle? All right. So turn on your scale. Put your bowl on. Zero it. it out. Did it. And we want to do one ounce of oats. Robin, thank you. Will you post the recipe or do I need to note the ingredients as we go along? I I will post the recipe after, but you can write down the ingredients as you go along because usually we chat in between anyways. So, yes, I will post the mango bake recipe afterwards. Oh, yes, Lois says she loves it. I like it Yay. too. It just adds so fast. So, all right, one ounce of oats. And these are uncooked. We get a uh, big bulk bag of organic rolled oats. Those are my favorite. I know steel cut oats take a little bit longer to like cook through and to get soft. So hi Brittany, thanks for joining. Oh, Lois got the blue one. The blue one is so oh. pretty. Kelly did my Okay, one today. ounce oats. Then we want to do three ounces of banana. And the more ripe, the better. Yes, you almost want it a little bit spotted. So zero out your scale again. Three ounce banana. This recipe is so easy. It's so refreshing. And I know it by heart because it's so easy. <laughs> <laughs> then you know a recipe's good. It's just automatic. Yes. I was talking to somebody and one of my recipes called for like two ounces of fruit. And they're like, oh no, I put three ounces in because you just automatically, you do three and three all the time. Tandalin, hey! Yay! Hi, Tandalin! Welcome for joining. Uh, on Instagram. This is the first time I've been able to join. Yay. So excited. Yay. I'm so happy you could join us on Instagram. So fun. All right. Then we want a dash of salt. Always add salt. Salt brings out the sweetness in things. Oh, honey, that's it. I'm like, oh, oh my yeah. gosh. Okay. Yeah. Especially when it's the, when it's the, like, this is just Himalayan sea salt. I gotta refill it. But when it's the thicker granules, then it's not as salty. Oh, but if it's like the really fine stuff, then you would only want just well, a teeny tiny bit. In that case, I better do it. Salt it up. Okay. All right, then a dash of baking soda. Amy, hey, I heard it's your mom's birthday today. Yes. It is. We made her this for breakfast. We did. We did. And then Kelly was so nice to make me one too.
And then she made herself one too. <laughs> Patty, lovely young ladies. Oh, thanks, Aunt Patty. Oh, Maureen. Maureen's on with us. So fun. Yay. Susan, I ordered your volume seven and eight a couple days ago. How long will it take to ship? That's a good question, Susan. So, I actually ran out of those volumes, but good news. I'm expecting a shipment. I was going to wait till after to <laughs> say this happy news. I'm expecting a shipment of books to come tomorrow with the brand new holiday volume. Yay! And I'll also be getting volume seven and eight. So those will be shipping tomorrow. And then it usually takes like two to nine days to get to you. So it'll be really fast. It'll get there. So yeah, so that's really exciting. So your books will be shipped ASAP as soon as it comes tomorrow. So yes, dash of baking powder. Yes. Oh, that's a big old dash. That's like, I would say that's about a fourth teaspoon dash. And yeah. then we're using this one? No. no. We're going to use coconut extract. I ran out of vanilla, so we're yeah. going to do a splash of coconut extract because coconut and it's mango. It's so delicious. Right. You could use almond extract. You could use, you could skip the extract, whichever one you want to do. I got low on my fingers. Oh. Then we want one large egg. One large egg. We get our eggs from a farm, so they're always kind of like different sizes. So we'll usually pick the biggest one, and that usually comes out to two ounces non-cooked. So that's half a protein. Yep, 1.9, close enough. Yeah. So I'm going to crack an egg in mine. Pick a big one. Yeah, I always pick the big one. Yeah, because you want it. Right size. Yeah, that's about two ounces. Perfect. Then you mash that all together. Yeah, I just, I use that to poke around the apple jam. So then you're going to want to mash your banana. Lois, do you have any easy way to cut fresh mango? Oh. So I'm usually pretty lazy like with my mango. I get it in the frozen because otherwise I'll get it fresh and then I never eat it in time and then it gets rotten. But I saw a really cool video. So you know how like, let me just mash this a little bit. I can mash it if you want to. Oh, you're so nice. Get your work out in. Yeah, so nice. let's say your mango is this way, it's upright. I saw where they cut it along this center and then they twisted it and then the cord or the, the big seed in the middle just came out and then it just came apart. Otherwise, I usually cut it down this, the long way. And then, um, how do I do this? Yeah, I do that and then I kind of peel it and then no, 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 no. I, I'll chop it this way, kind of down the center, get around the core, and then I'll take a cup. I'll take a cup like this, and then you can kind of like slide the pe the stuff that comes off, so it kind of looks like this. I know it's a banana. And then you would kind of slide, and then it would kind of just peel it for you. I've done that, and that works pretty well with peeling a mango, but it is very messy work. Amy, are you going to make two things today, or just one? We're gonna make two things today. We're making a mango bake and a peanut butter, peanut butter apple parfait. Oh. Marine, thanks for cooking today. Oh, so glad you could join us, Marine. It's always so fun having all my friends here. Okay, we're all mashed up. So we have our banana, our oats, our baking powder, salt, and our extract. Okay. Debbie, can you say the list of ingredients real quick? Well, Debbie, <laughs> you, you must have been thinking just what I'm it's thinking. so easy. Yeah. So there is a slight delay, so you probably heard the ingredients right as you posted that. So then you what? zero out your scale again, and we want to add three ounces of frozen mango. Or fresh. Frozen, yeah. fresh, whichever you have in your house. I know um, uh, Linda Steele, she said that she has a mango just waiting for this recipe. So. I'll be honest, this bake was the first time I think I've ever eaten mango. Really? I just I wasn't a mango person, but in the bake, I want mangoes every day. It's really good. Mangoes are like really sweet. Uh, I kind of got inspired by this because somebody made my cheesecake and the yogurt cheesecake from volume two, and they didn't like bananas, so they used a mango instead. I'm like, huh, I want to make a mango bake. I really like mango. Amazing. Susan, hi, glad I finally caught one of your demos. Yay, so glad you could be here. Lois, thanks. Interesting. Sliding the mango over a glass. Yeah, it kind of just peels it off the peeling, and then you get all the just meaty fruit in there. Okay. All right, so, so three ounces of mango. That will complete our fruit serving. Perfect. Oh, that was like exactly three ounces on the dot. That's the little things. So satisfying. Mm-hmm. 
This oh. recipe is like such a house favorite that my brother, who oh does my not gosh. eat sugar and flour free, I will be posting that video later. I just haven't gotten around to it. Uh, one ounce. Just cut one in half. There. Yeah. That he was so excited. He made it himself. So he was like so happy. It's he was so good. He even had like a happy mango dance. He oh, was yeah. just so excited. <laughs> That's how good this is. Lois, I did too, but it was rotten when I opened it. Oh, oh man, isn't that the worst? That's why I kind of like getting frozen because it'll never rot on you. It's just always it's there. It hunks. It's so easy. In the freezer. You can get waiting. organic. Yeah, usually we get the organic stuff, but our local Walmart was out, so and you just do the best. Then we need our little baking dish and spray it. <gasps> and our, we just used them and we just did the dishes, so the deep ones are nice and clean. Yeah, the, oh, no. the deep ones are like tastier. It makes them more moist if you have them. So our ones did not get clean in the dishwasher, but they look like this. They're the deeper ones. Yeah. So we gotta wash these again. But it'll still be delicious. It okay. will fit in the smaller ones. So here's like the difference. There's two different sizes. I'm not gonna show you the inside because it's kind of gross. But this is what they kind of look like. This is the one and three fourths cup baking dish, and then this is a two and three fourths cup baking dish. But this one will fit the mango bake just fine. It's still delicious. Yeah, it works. Spray the pan. Aw, sweetie says it's so nice to see two sisters cooking together. Oh, it's so sweet. Fun to be in the kitchen. It is. I was, <laughs> I was so excited. I thought, oh, I need to have Kelly cook with me in the kitchen. Then I'm like, then she's like, oh, I could do it tomorrow. I was so excited all day. I kept telling Kelly, I'm like, I'm so excited. We're going to cook together in the kitchen. It's pretty fun. It is very fun. Then you just, so you spray your little pan and you just pour it in. Well, that's easy enough. That is it. I like to use one of these thingamadoochers, the spatulas, because I like to get every little piece, all my oats. I'll let you use it too. Yeah, because you got to have every little thing you can get. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Every little bite. No oat left behind. And uh, it's, so this is kind of what it looks like. There's big chunks of mango in it. Oh, I can't look, do it too close. So there's going to be big chunks, but that's like the best part. Because then you bite into it, and you uh, get this big hunk of just juicy cooked yes. uh, mango. It's so good. Sunny, hi girls. Good afternoon. Hi, Sunny. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Susan, your hair looks super cute. Oh, Aww. thanks. You're so sweet. All right. Okay. That's it. So we have our mangoes, our banana, our oats, our baking powder, an egg, salt, salt extract, coconut extract, so now we're going to pop these in the oven. The oven's preheating at 350. So we're going to pop these in for 35 minutes. 35 minutes. I'm going to move this one mango chunk yeah. over to the center because it was poked up. We want it a little bit kind of flat. I mean, hey, it's going to taste good anyways. Mm -hmm. So here's our two. I'm going to pop them both in the oven. Yay! It's so refreshing and cold. And it's the best if you make it overnight and then keep it in the fridge. Um, it makes all the difference. So once those are done, we'll come back to those because we only have half our protein on there. So usually what we do is we'll do uh, like two ounces Greek yogurt on top and then do that before and then put it in the uh, fridge overnight, cover it, you know, put it in the fridge overnight. It is so good. Yeah. When I made it for John, our brother. Um, he thought it was like frosting Greek yogurt mixed with something. It's just plain it's just Greek plain. yogurt. I yeah. thought so too. Yeah, you made it. it's so good. Mm -hmm. uh, and then kind of the yogurt, like the juices, you know how like Greek yogurt, the liquid will kind of separate? That like soaks into the mango bake and it oh. just makes it, I don't know, just amazing. And then the yogurt on top just gets like thick. Uh, Annabella. Oh, that is a gorgeous name. Hello from... Croatia. Hello. Wow. Welcome. Thanks for joining us all the way from Croatia. Debbie, is it baking powder or baking soda? It's baking powder. Baking powder makes things fluff and baking soda makes things like a tiny bit fluff up, but it makes it more like dense. So they both do different things. So baking powder makes things like get fluffy and like big and stuff. Oh, you two look so cute. Aw, thank Aww. you. Hi, this is Kathy. Oh, hi, Kathy. Love. Oh, she loves our rest, my recipes. Oh, that is so 
nice. Thanks yeah, for joining thanks. on Instagram. So fun. Okay, so now that's in the oven. While that's cooking, let's go on to our peanut butter apple parfait. I had just made this a couple days ago, and then I think it was Maureen said, can you make this on your live? I'm like, yes, we can because it's so good. So we have our big old mugs here. So you're going to want, you can do this in a bowl or just get a big tall glass. You could even do like a drinking glass. That would work also. But I was, we were gifted these from a friend of ours. She etched our names on them and then our church name on it. It was so, so sweet. sweet. So we're going to put it in these. We're going to take our mug. And then we are going to put, we are actually going to start by toasting our oats. If you've never toasted oats, you're missing out. This stuff is so good. So I'm going to grab a skillet. And it's so simple. I did this just in the morning. I just toasted them really quick. So I'm actually going to toast both of our oats. Now when you toast it, they do lose a little bit of weight. So I'm going to put just a little bit extra of oats in it. And then if you have extra, you can always just put it in a baggie and save it for later. So I'm going to do about two, 2.3 or like two and a fourth if you have an OXO scale that does it by the fourth. So we're doing both of our oats in there? Okay. Yeah, because I thought, why well, do them separately? Yeah. You could just do one ounce oat. I did one ounce oats when I did it. I've never toasted oats before. It's so it's so easy and so fun. I know you can bake oats and toast them, but nobody's got time for that. They gotta preheat the oven, they gotta leave it in there, they gotta shake when them a little. You're hungry, you're hungry, you gotta eat. Yeah, this takes about like what, two minutes to toast it. So uh, I'm going to make mine maple toasted oats. Oh. So really simple. You just add a little maple extract, and then that cooks all the alcohol out of it. So it's not like yummy. So I'm going to do like two big splashes. I would say about a half a teaspoon per ounce. And then just kind of mix it up just a little bit. I'm just kind of tossing it around. So now we're going to turn you around to my oven, to my stove top. I'm going to take so let's put this here and let's just whee, flip you around. We'll turn that on. Ooh, I got new tripod, so let's see how this works. Amy. <gasps> oh, <laughs> she almost yes. went for a ride there. Okay. Amy, what page is that in Volume 2 Cookbook? I can't find. This recipe is not in a cookbook yet either. This was just a new one I experimented with, and then I had posted it on Instagram, and everybody's like, I have to try this. I'm like, yes, you have to try this. So this is a new recipe. So I'm going to turn my stove top on to, like, high, because I want these to get nice and toasty. Now, you do have to babysit these just a little bit, because they do burn pretty fast. So I'm not going to have it on high the whole time. And then I'm just going to start with a spoon. And even though the maple extract kind of makes them a little bit wet because it's an extract and it's liquidy, that's okay because it'll still toast up really nice. Mm. So now we just let it heat a little bit. You could preheat your skillet to about like medium heat, but it smells good. I didn't think that. Time. It does. It makes your whole house smell like a maple apple pie or something. It's so good. You can toast nuts this way also. Really? I have a uh, maple bacon recipe. Maple bacon salad. Don't remember what volume it's in. I want to say it's like volume three, two or three. Now you just want to make sure you stir this very often. I'm going to turn it down just to about medium high. <clears throat> Smells like Christmas. Yeah. And that you would toast the um, pecans and a little bit of maple extract. And I think you toasted the bacon in a little bit of maple extract. Oh. You kind of did them together. So you just want to really stir it a lot because this burns really fast. I did it once where I like left for just two seconds. I went to grab something. They were burnt. And they still tasted good. So you could just kind of like. How do you tell when they're done? Things. They will look. They'll look toasted. They'll be like a dark toasty brown or like a golden brown they should not be like all the way black because <laughs> that's burnt <laughs> but you can kind of cook this by smell a little bit if it starts to smell a little burnt you can turn your heat down just a little bit but you do want to stir this a lot 
and it's you don't need any oil no oil in it you just want to dry toast these and i just it kind of reminds me before we change this way of eating we would make homemade popcorn and you know how like you shake it a lot when you make homemade that's what it kind of reminded me of when i was making this i'm like this kind of feels like homemade popcorn one just let it cook i'm going to turn it up just a little bit hotter because i want it toasted mm. you could toast these in the oven and make like a bunch of it if you wanted to what about the air fryer would that work that would work also now mm. so i tried toasting some nori seaweed wraps because somebody said that if you toast and season those and they won't taste like fish as much but then my friend candace said that did you know that seaweed is what makes fish taste fishy oh. i didn't know that interesting so that's why that stuff is just i don't know i'm still trying to like figure out ways of making that stuff not taste like fish you are so adventurous <laughs> i'm like i find something that's good i just want to eat it all the time yeah it's starting to get more brown <gasps> it is i think i turned it down too fast so like if it's not turning brown turn up the heat a little bit just kind of stir it but yeah so i put this is my air fryer right there i had put two seaweed wraps in there or one and i seasoned it did just a little bit of oil just kind of rubbed it on there and then all of a sudden it started like smoking and I'm like, ah, what is happening? Something's bad here. So here the seaweed wrap had flew up because it's an air fryer. So it's air. So it had touched the coils on the top oh, and it was like burning the top of it. So I took it out and I'm oh. like, well, we're just going to throw that away. You can kind of smell. It's like, oh, okay. Now it's looking like it's cooked. Yeah. It's starting to look like a little bit brown. So does this make it like crispy? Yes. It gives it, you know how like when you toast toast and it gets that little bit of like, yeah, crunch. Yeah, that's what this does. Oh, okay, so you can totally tell when it's starting to gun. Yeah, they do turn color. They'll turn like toasted brown, like kind of yeah. how you can tell that toast is done. Yep, you can kind of smell it too. Yeah, it smells so good. And it almost sometimes smells just a little bit like it's burning, but it's not. Just make sure you babysit this. Mm hmm. So it's not a thing that you just let it sit in the skillet. And you kind of want all the oats to get that nice golden color. So some of them, I'll show you the pan, but some of my oats are getting like really dark and some are still pretty light. Oh, it's fast now. Yeah. You just got to get that skillet nice and hot. It kind of does smell like popcorn. <laughs> it does, right? It gives you those old feelings. But without all the guilt and okay, so these are done, and you don't want to leave them in the skillet because they'll keep cooking. So this is what they should look like. Mm. I'll show Facebook. This is what they should look like, just nice and toasty. So I'm gonna throw these on a plate really quick. Then I'll turn you around, and then I'll show you up close. Here I'm turning slowly. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, let me put this. I don't want to burn you. I don't want to drop you. Ah, no, that would be bad. Thank you, Kelly. It's kind of nice having a friend in the kitchen. Yes. Do this. Okay, so let me show you the oats. Oh, we're going. Oh, I thought it was tipping over. Oh. <laughs> I thought, what did I do? Okay. okay, so here's what they should look like. I'm not going to touch them because they're hot. And I can't really turn it. <laughs> so they look nice and brown and like toasty. Ooh. I dumped the whole plate on the that. Would that would be really sad. You never know what's going to happen live. Nothing has happened too crazy today <laughs> yet. It's not over. Okay. So we're going to set these to the side. Our nice toasted oats. They smell so good. They smell good. Okay. Now, where did my mug go? So we're actually going to take a bowl. So here's two bowls. And we are going to add... Let's see, how much banana? Two ounces banana to our bowl, because we want this mostly. Do you need another chunk? Yeah, just a little bit. I do too. We get to share bananas. We should own stock of bananas, seriously. Mm -hmm. Bananas is like, we go through so many bananas. Okay, so we have two ounces bananas. 
Then we are going to, we did, so we're going to mash our banana now. I'm going to get a new fork. Yeah, give me one too. Yeah, mine's got egg on it. Ooh, no, you can't, you can reuse forks, but not when they got egg on it. That stuff is nasty. So we're going to mash this up to get our workout in. This is Kelly's first time making this part. I know, I'm so excited. So Kelly, and I'm actually not going to have this because, till tomorrow because it's like after lunch so this is not really a lunch thing anyways because the oats unless you're on maintenance then you can have it for lunch anyway so kelly is going to leave her oats out until tomorrow i'm going to put my oats in because i don't mind having like overnight oats where they kind of get a little soft that doesn't bother me she doesn't like that kind of texture so I'm going to put her oats in a baggie, and then in the morning, she'll just put her oats on top, just sprinkle them, and it'll still just be perfect. L Liza, hi from New Zealand. Oh what you cooking? Goodness. Welcome from New Zealand. We love New Zealand. We love The Hobbit and, like, Lord, Lord of the, the Rings. Rings, and we just look at the countryside, and it's just, oh, I buy beautiful. shoes made from New Zealand are my favorite. She does. Yeah, she buys them all the way homemade or handmade from New Zealand. So fun. We are making a peanut butter apple pie or peanut butter apple parfait. Maddie, can you please post the recipe? I'm trying to follow along, but I'm at work, so it's difficult oh. to keep, keep track of ingredients and baking instructions. Great news, Maddie. I will be posting the mango bake after this. It might be later tonight that I'll be posting it because sometimes after this life gets busy again, but I will be posting the mango bake. And after this video is finished live, it will be posted on my website, on the Facebook page, on my Instagram page, and then you can watch it again and again and again in case you miss something or you're like, oh, I just want to watch a fun cookie video. Or, oh, I just think Kelly's really gorgeous. Oh, I just want to see her face. <laughs> okay. So, Amy, Kelly, are you having a good time cooking with your I'm sister? I'm having so much fun, Amy. <laughs> she has to say that. I have weapons in the kitchen. No, and I'm just kidding. food. What can be better than that? Liza. Wow, that's so cool. Thanks, Liza. It's so fun having you from New Zealand. Okay, so we added our two ounces apple. Okay. I mean, banana. This is not an apple. This oh, is a banana. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And now we're going to zero the scale. And now we're going to add, add yogurt. We are going to add how much yogurt? We're going to add four ounces of yogurt oh. to our banana because this is going to kind of, when you mix yogurt and banana, oh she just got excited right it's there. So good. It gets like custard. Mm -hmm. custard. Mm -hmm. It does. And then when you let it sit in the fridge overnight, it gets custard. <laughs> what? It gets cold? <laughs> it gets custardy. All right, so we want four ounces of banana. Thanks, yogurt. Watching. Four ounces of oh. yogurt. Four ounces of yogurt. Thank you, Kelly. This is why I need her in the kitchen with me always. Got one job. Maddie, thanks. Watching from Phoenix, Arizona. Oh, wow. All the way from warm awesome. Phoenix, Arizona. Yeah, so warm. fun having you in chilly Minnesota today. It's like, it's sunny, but it's windy and a little chilly. But it makes it exciting. She's overdoing my yogurt for me. She's trying to win. I got to do this more often. Be like, Kelly, we're going to make a cooking show. And then just have the phone there and not even on. Okay. <laughs> Okay, so we added our yogurt, so now we're going to add our seasoning. Now, Kelly, do you like chai spice with that? Mm, a little bit, yeah. Okay, it's kind of, it reminds me of a pumpkin pie spice, yeah. which it pretty much is, but just with cardamom. So if you do not have chai spice, I have a recipe on my website, weightlossrecipescookbook.com. In the Pinterest recipes at the tab, you can find this chai spice. Or you can use pumpkin pie spice if you are like pumpkin pie spice every day. Aww. Sherry! Hi, Natalie. You and your sis are doing a great job. Thanks, Thanks Sherry. You're so sweet. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon of chai spice, which isn't really much once you do it with four ounces of Greek yogurt yeah, and the banana. Good. Yeah. It kind of reminds me of nutmeg. Ooh, Ooh. There is nutmeg <laughs> in it. I'm going to do, Kelly got a little more than oh I did. Oh my. You can never, can you really have too much spice? No. <laughs> okay, so we did that. Uh, now we're going to add a pinch of instant coffee. No, Kelly doesn't like coffee, which is okay. I'm still trying to convince her that coffee is heaven and that instant coffee does not taste like coffee. I snuck it in a couple recipes she didn't know. Don't let her know I did that. She can't do me. 
but she does she's like not gonna have it so you can no. skip the instant coffee I'm not gonna skip the instant coffee and I'm gonna do a pretty big pinch so I would say it's about a fourth teaspoon mm. I do two pinches I love it instant coffee uh, Linda Steele said it gives it a depth and a rich and a warmth and it's just an amazing flavor when you add Ooh. the instant coffee uh, Nicole, I was so, I use so many different bowls for measuring. Is there a trick? It just doesn't seem to work with one bowl with all the different moving parts. Yeah, it can get a lot of bowls. I think yesterday we used every single bowl in our house. Like yeah. they were all with used. With Brightline eating, your dishes use increases. <laughs> yeah. I, I will use the same bowl over and over, especially if I don't use like an egg and the next thing I'm like not going to cook doesn't need an egg or something but if I do use an egg and then the next thing I'm gonna cook is gonna be cooked anyways then I'll just kind of like if it's the same dish and I just used it for the crust and now this I'm gonna use it for the batter I'll use the same bowl I did that with the cheesecake did you notice no. she didn't notice <laughs> it was at all delicious. so I mean you can do it that way like this I would I'm using the same bowl and I'm just adding all the stuff in there but yeah it does get to be a lot of dishes so now we're going to mix up our banana, yogurt, chai, instant coffee mixture. Ooh, mm. forgot the pinch of salt. Oh, always add salt. salt. Thank you. I like a lot of salt in mine. It brings out the sweetness and you don't even taste the salt. It smells really good so far. It does. I had this and I'm like, ooh, that's good. And then with the toasted oats. So it should look like this. You get like a thick custardy let me show Instagram too and it's just I don't know it makes yogurt plain Greek yogurt actually taste good because mm -hmm. I know a lot of people say ew I can't eat plain Greek yogurt yeah no you can't really eat it plain it's good with banana okay so we have our yogurt mixture so now we're going to take our mug and we are going to do let's see we want to start with, where do we add the first coffee? Uh, we're going to add two ounces of our apple jam into the bottom of our mug. So zero your scale. You can find the apple jam oh. recipe on my website also. It's pretty much just kind of like stewed apples. I know Marcy Decker, I think it was her, she had posted that she makes it in her crock pot, which is so easy. You just chop and core apples and put it in a crock pot and let it just cook and get all nice and like, Kind of saucy and broken down. I'll show you what it looks like. I mean, could you That's use could you use like just chopped apples if you didn't? You want could to use them up or definitely you could use just chopped apples. You could use a different fruit. I mean, uh, but I do have the apple jam recipe on my website or on my Pinterest page. Pretty much That's just really good. chop and core apples, put it in a pot, have it on there like medium high heat for ten minutes. It might look like it's burning, but it's not until everything kind of gets nice and just kind of broken down. And it can be big chunks, it can be small chunks, however you want to cut it. You can even peel your apple. So it's going to kind of look like this. It's a little chunky. It's not going to be like applesauce. That stuff is probably blended. This is not. It's like chunky. I think I like zoodled this one because I have an apple peeler core thing. So this one I did. But I did do more apple jams where I didn't do that. So, Sunny. When three more of my family members started Blee, we went and brought more, we went and bought more bowls. <laughs> he just uses a lot of bowls. Yeah. It does. It really does. Yeah. I had to like start using containers in my like container cabinet thing or Tupperware. That's what they call them. Like, what are they called? So we're gonna do two ounces apple jam in the bottom of our cup. Two ounces, perfect. I'll let you fork yours in. And then with the apple jam, it's optional. You can put like a tablespoon of, in like a pot of apple jam, you can put a tablespoon of chia seeds to kind of thicken all the juice, but that is totally optional. You don't have to. And then I don't count the chia seeds in it because by time, like you get, by time you get the apple jam in your stuff, you don't get very much chia seeds. It's like nothing. Yeah, you don't get much. Cheers. Cheers. Huh? Uh, Lois said, delish apple jam. It is. It's really good. And it, it is. freezes perfectly. This has been in the freezer since last fall. 
and then I just took it out and I started cooking with it because there's no preservatives so it will rot really fast like in your fridge you can only leave it in there for like I don't know seven days or so but if it gets moldy it's done so because there's no preservatives so now we're going to add one third of our yogurt mixture just kind of scoop I think I did about like two scoops in it oh let me show them the different one so this is Kelly's without the coffee without the instant coffee this is mine with the instant coffee mine is a little bit darker smell it they smell both about pretty much the same so the instant coffee doesn't make too much of like whoa that's instant coffee it just gives it a little bit more of a ooh, that's like really rich and like seasoned so i'm going to add about two maybe three scoops about a third of the mixture because we want to make beautiful layers Pinching on the sides though i want mine to look beautiful <gasps> Oh, you can use the spatula to kind of scoop it in oh, there. Oh, genius. Yeah, you got to make it look pretty. Good job. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to add, I'm going to weigh out on a separate plate because I was trying to figure this out, like a third of one ounce, and I'm like, that is just way too much work. So I'm just going to weigh one ounce of oats on my plate. You can do this too, unless you just want to put in a baggie, because you're going to add yours on top later. Oh, yeah, I'll get a baggie. Or a container, whichever one. Now, I would not refrigerate these oats oh. if you want them to stay crisp. That's one ounce? Yeah. Wow, you get a lot. Yeah. Seems like. Uh, they must get lighter when you toast them. This is one ounce of toasted That's oats. a lot. Isn't that just beautiful? A beautiful sight. Ground flaxseed works well in place of the chia seed. It does. Or I've heard that hemp seed also works too. I've done that where I get some hemp seed. That thickens also like uh, ground flaxseed and chia seed does too. So I know some people are allergic to chia seed or even flaxseed. So you can switch out those. <laughs> Maureen, she lives in Minnesota too. She lives about 30 minutes from me and she said, it is cold. It is. It's cold. All right, so I'm going to put about one third of my oats in my mug. And Kelly, here's mine in a bag. I'm going to save mine for tomorrow. Okay, shoot. So I'm going to do about two pinches. It's so pretty. Okay, then we're going to do a half ounce of peanut butter <gasps> on this now. Oh, this is where the yummy. peanut butter comes in. Whoops. No, nope, that's egg. Oh, no, that was the other one. I think this is apple jam, but don't want to take a chance. That would be nasty. You find out later. So I'm going to add half an ounce of peanut butter, just kind of drizzle mm. it on top. This is where all the layers come together. That's why it's called a parfait. It's parfait beautiful. with layers. 0.4. We want 0.5. Let's see. Ah. Now Kelly gets to do 0.5. So fun. It's so fun making all the layers. And it's so fun when your food looks oh, pretty. Perfect. Oh, that was good. I thought it was going to be oh. a one. Lois, what temp? Oh, yes, hemp hearts too. I thought you were asking what temp it was. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes, hemp hearts work. Amy, Natalie, you should have Kelly cooking with you. Cooking with your something. Fill in the blank. Cooking with my hands. No, mm. I don't know. Okay, now we are going to repeat for the second layer. So we're gonna add. Oh, that fork was for the apple jam. I'll just See, we just keep using dishes. <laughs> yep. Okay. So I'm gonna add two more ounces apple jam. It looks so fallish. It Autumn. does. Autumn. If there's not enough, I have. I'm fine. Another apple jam in my microwave. Uh, I usually just take the jar and then I'll put it in the microwave for about a minute and then I'll do it again for another minute. Yeah, and if it's a good. little frozen still, so this is like straight from my freezer. I did one minute, then I did two minutes longer because it was still really frozen. You should have Kelly with you next Thursday cooking. That would be <laughs> fun. Yeah, you never know. I might have another surprise guest. I got to get my brother to do one with me. It oh, would be like, be funny. it would be comedy hour. Be awesome. What, I, I'm going to post that video of him cooking, because that was 
So funny. It was so funny. Kelly said to add a dash of salt. He ran out of the room and ran back in. He dashed. That's that's what he does. Yes. All right, now we're going to add another third of our yogurt mixture. This is where the artistic skills come in. Uh, yeah, this is very narrow. Oh, <laughs> that's okay. You can use your fork. That's okay. I'm just eating this. I don't yeah. care what it looks like. I mean, sometimes the ugly food nice. tastes the best. Aw, thanks, Kelly. So now I'm going to add another third of my oats. Kelly's going to wait. You could do, if you're going to leave this in the fridge overnight anyways, you wouldn't even have to toast your oats. <gasps> no. Oh, not one oat oh, oh, left behind. <laughs> no oats oh, left behind. This is battle. We're battling the bulge. Okay. <laughs> oh, my. Kelly said before we started the live, don't say anything stupid to herself. And I'm like, Kelly, I say stupid stuff all the time. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to do another half an ounce of peanut butter. I'll let My you go favorite. first. Yes. So what's nice is, so peanut butter, if your weight loss has like stalled or slowed down, could be too much peanut butter here and there. It is so. So you can just mango bake two days. Parfait? That's what Parf I try to Parfait. do. Parfait one day because the mango bake has no peanut butter. There you go. Win win. Thank you. Thanks, guys. Okay. So we're going to do half an ounce of peanut butter. Mm. I'm going to have to remake this one time when I can have the oats right away. Yeah. Because like, toasting it, that was easy, man. Yeah, it was. I'm going to kind of smudge my peanut butter back around because it's all on the uh -oh. side. That's okay. You could even, like, mix the peanut butter with the oats if you wanted to, but that might be just, like, a sticky mess. You should hold up this beautiful mess. Look at that. I got to show them closer. closer. Look, at, look at all the layers. That was an accident. Don't look at that. But look at all the layers. We got all the yumminess. Let me show Instagram. Amy, or you should have your mom cook with you one time. I want to have her cook with me, too. That would be fun. Mommy and me in the kitchen. Uh, Liza, our New Zealand peanut butter isn't runny like yours. It's really firm. Really? That could be, so usually I get like this organic peanut butter and the top, the oil separates. So then the top will be nice and drizzly. Then the bottom will get hard as a rock because I just use the drizzly stuff and then make everything nice and pretty. And then the bottom's hard as a rock. This is what you can do. Add your peanut butter to a separate bowl and then either take like, I have like a hot and cold water cooler. And then I'll do one splash of hot water and then just one splash, which is about, I don't know, like a teaspoon. And then you take a fork and you mix that until it's smooth. Then add another splash and mix that until it's completely smooth again. Excuse me. And you keep doing that until you get the right consistency that you want. And then you have nice drizzly peanut butter. That's just what I do. Or I know some people microwave it, but you can. Like, yeah, that's... Cook that did not go well when I tried that. <laughs> yeah, and I think cold water might do the same exact thing. Debbie, how many oven minutes for mango bake at 350? I, I put it in for 30 minutes. Depending on your oven, you could do the toothpick method where you put the toothpick in the center. That ah! sounds like perfect timing. Put the toothpick in the center, and if it comes out clean, then it's done. So you did 30 minutes? I did. Usually I do 35. Oh, let's add. Let me look at this. Yeah, let's do five more. You don't want it mushy in the middle. Ugh. Okay, so I put it on for five minutes longer. So, 35, depending on how you like it. I like my food. I'm like a doughy, like soft cookie dough kind of person. So, I like my stuff yeah. a little under 35 is more like a coffee cake type thing. Yeah, and I liked it because she made mine last night. And I really liked it. It was good. Oh, we missed what did... You can microwave peanut butter to make it softer. I've tried that it and it like right away. burnt it. So maybe I just did it too long. Maybe it was my peanut butter. But you could try either of those. Thanks. Making peanut butter with hot water sounds like a good idea. Yeah, and you get more. I was just gonna say that I'm like a quantities person. I like a lot of food and like big food. So you do like it. It makes it thin. And then when you weigh your peanut butter before you add the water, then it really does get big when you add the water and make it bigger. Gail. Not just bowls. I use a lot of knives, and I have three sets of measuring spoons. Yes, uh -huh. me too. I think we use up a lot of forks in our house too, because mashing yeah. and knives and spoons. And yeah, you just use a lot of dishes. 
when you're cooking at home and you're cooking a good healthy meal, it's worth it. It's worth it. Dishwashers are my best friends. I'm so happy for them. Okay, so we have we have to finish off with the rest of our yogurt. So I'm gonna go like this. Throw that fork away. Another one to clean. And I'm gonna grab another spatula. Because we're gonna do the rest of the yogurt mixture now. Finish it off. So since everything's measured, then you don't have to measure it going in your cup, which is kind of nice. You could do this in a bowl, you could do it in a jar. So, funny question, when yeah. you eat a parfait, do you like to get all the layers and scoop really deep with your spoon, or do you oh. eat it layer by layer? <gasps> That's a good question! <laughs> I, what do you guys like? <laughs> yeah, are you a... What did I do? I think... I think I went... Because this is double layers, so I think I went half a layer, oh, and I ate all that, and then okay. I went to the next layer with the oats. Interesting. But that's a good question. Deep. That is a deep thought. <laughs> that's like asking people, how do you eat your, or if you were a cereal, what cereal would you be? <laughs> you don't eat cereal. I would be Puff Kamut Man. That's right. And then people would be like, what is Puff Kamut? <laughs> it's good. Kristen, hey, Kristen! So... Funny thing, so Kristen and me went to driver's ed together. That's no how, way. Yes, yes. She was like the nicest person there. She Aww. was so nice to me. I was, because I was homeschooled, so I went to a school and took the driver's ed class, and I was like quiet in the corner, and Kristen was so nice to me. Aww. She was like my friend, and then we were like going to drive together, but the timing didn't work out, so then I was, I was really tall in like high school and middle school and all that stuff, I was always really tall. And then this kid that drove with me, he was really short. So I remember having to get in the van, and I was very heavy then, getting in the van and we would have to like, I would stand there and adjust the seat before I'd get in. And then he'd have to like put the seat up higher when he'd get in. It was really awkward for both of us, but those are my memories. Kristen was always so nice Aww. to me. I'm so late to the show. That's okay, because you can watch this later once it's done and posted. Then you can watch it again and again and again. And you can see me again, and I can see you. And it's so fun to be together again. Jill, try your peanut butter on defrost instead of cook in the microwave. Oh, oh, that's a good idea. See, the microwave has all these buttons, and I've only used, like, two. Yeah, you... I put the beverage button, and then I do the cook button like the number of times so I'll have to try that one that's a good idea Nicole your recipes are very worth it oh agreed you're so nice agreed. okay so the last thing we're gonna add is the rest of our oats or she's not adding her oats I'll have to show you her beautiful parfait I don't know it looks kind of messy but that's okay. it's gonna taste amazing yeah as long as it tastes good oh it's beautiful and then I'm gonna add another pinch of chai oh. spice here, I should put some of that spice in my baggie. Or you can put it right on top. Oh, there you go. It's so cute. elegant. It just makes it look so pretty. Alright. Here's our finished. <laughs> Don't <you> show mine. <laughs> it's my first cooking show, okay? It's okay. <laughs> this is just not here. If you look at it like that. Oh, it's so cute. If you look at it like that, then it looks it's okay. I mean, <laughs> Yours is gonna taste. Ooh! Oh, okay, I'll get it out. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna get the mango bake, and then we'll top our mango bake. Uh, Sunny, homeschool family here too. Oh, our kids are graduated yay. now, ages 18 and almost 22. <gasps> yay! Kindred spirit. Ki yeah, kindred spirits. We watched a lot of Anna Green Gables being homeschooled. We did a lot of Richard Simmons. Give me, give me some though, because oh we gosh. didn't have Fayed. You don't tell, tell them that. Yeah, I need to tell you that. Now they have Zumba, and now they make it cool. I mean, when I was a kid, Richard Simmons, give me that cowbell. Are you going to show them this, or? Yeah, bring it over. Let me get a towel, and then you can set it on here while we show them one at a time. Don't burn yourself. <gasps> mm, it smells so good. It's so fun. Try to show them. Yeah. This is it, babe. <laughs> you can Okay. <laughs> so this is it, babe. <laughs> Stop. And then here Instagram. 
<laughs> Doesn't that just look beautiful? Uh, it tastes better. Okay, so now... Here, I have a little glass. Am I warm? Am I going to burn myself? Oh, that's kind of hot. Okay, put yours right there. <laughs> Cooking with Natalie and Kelly. People are like, oh, I've never cooked We're before. So I've been in the kitchen. I'm like, I am too. Yeah. I'm just experimental. Amy, what are you going to learn at Bible study? You will <laughs> find out. And speaking yeah. of, join us. Kelly will be speaking at our Bible study. And we have all of us there too. And we all kind of share so and fun. talk about it. It's so fun. I'll be sharing on my personal Facebook page the watch party for it or you can find us on love of god family church it's like a gray picture with like a heart and a bible it's a really cute little profile picture and you can join us bible study 6 30 central time and it's really fun it's just a really fun time together and we like we listen and then we all interject and it's just a really fun time we're way more professional in there than we are cooking <laughs> we put our adult know. on <laughs> sometimes well we have gotten pretty funny on there you never know Gail, I love how y'all oh, interact together. So sweet. Be nice to each other. <laughs> I know. I love my Aww. Kelly. She's so sweet. Kelly too. Yes. Oh gosh. We always ask the question, who do you think is older? Yes. Okay. We'll let you think on that. And Amy, then don't say. Yeah, you. Amy. Amy, don't tell. <laughs> Amy goes to our church, so we know her. She's so, so sweet. Amy, don't tell. But who do you think <laughs> is older? I'll answer in about a couple minutes when we finish our mango bake. And we'll see who's right. You can't offend us. Like, not at all. I've had everything said to me in the whole world. You can't offend us. No. So, if you're like, we go by each other's names. People think I write the cookbook. <laughs> I just go, oh, you're welcome. Oh, Kelly is a novelist. She writes novels. Christian historical romance adventure fantasy historical in Ireland. And Ireland is close to New Zealand, see? which we love. It's so gorgeous there. And she has published six novels. And then she just finished her brand spanking new about like a month or two ago. Uh, it's called Rescued from Worry. It's a book and it's about like your personal testimony. Yes. Go ahead. Tell about that. Okay. A so um, I was, I dealt as a teenager, dealt with worry and fear, so much anxiety that I would just cry to know what was wrong. And so uh, my parents said, gave me some awesome scriptures in the Bible and I just kind of devoured that for two years and then got prayed for and I was totally healed and set free. I could breathe without that tension and I wanted to help other people to be set free too because so many people deal with this. I mean, who does not deal with worry at all, right? especially in the days we live in right yeah. now? So I wanted to write a book to help other people. Yeah, and it's like, it's so, she just makes it so simple, but yet it's like, whoa, that is so it just really speaks to you. It's really amazing. Uh, Mickey, oh. I think you, Natalie, is older by one to two years. <laughs> Harvetta, hello, Liza. Ireland isn't close to New Zealand. Aww. It's on the other side of the world. But it's just <laughs> as cool. Wait, do you have castles in New Zealand? Uh, probably not, but probably. I mean, New Zealand's cool. Oh, yeah, New they Zealand. They have hobbits. They don't have a castle. Okay, okay. <laughs> so my geography is not my strong suit. <laughs> and I even have a map that no, I put close, things. Yeah, okay. It's closer to Australia. Or Okay, I'm, I'm just going to stop there before I even show you how much I know about geography. Oh, Shawnee said your sister is older. Okay, so we will answer that once we finish our mango <laughs> bake. So our mango bake has half of our protein in it. Uh, so we're going to top it with two ounces plain Greek yogurt, and guess what? I'm going to reuse this spatula. Me too. Because there's no egg on it. There's nothing that's going to make me sick. It's just got like a little bit of banana and yogurt and chai spice, which psh, by the time that gets on there, it ain't going to And the well. longer you wait for it to cool, the easier it is to spread it, but this works. Nobody's got time to wait. And you're going to put it in the, the, the microwave, the fridge overnight anyway, so. Yeah. So we're going to do two ounces. I'm like waiting for you. I don't even know why. Waiting for me to do it. I see how yeah, it is. Yeah, I gotta see how it's done. So we want two ounces <clears throat> plain Greek yogurt. Then you still get a fourth of a protein yes. on the side or on top. You could do pecans, like a half ounce pecans. Just pour that on top. Or I've mm. had almonds on the side. Pistachio. Or pistachio. Or you could do two more ounces plain Greek yogurt if you want. 
you could do, I don't know, you could do, you could do like an egg waffle on the side. <laughs> I like to do those because an egg waffle, one egg that's like two ounces, once you cook it in a waffle maker, you just whisk it with like seasonings and then I like to put salsa on top. It comes down to like one ounce and then that's a fourth of protein. Or yeah, you could do one ounce of scrambled eggs on the side, whatever you want to do. So you get a fourth of a protein. Oh, careful, it's hot. Yeah, it's still Here. hot. I'm going to show you what this frosted heaven looks like. Oh, now, tis. I would suggest don't eat it now. Like, if you're making it for breakfast, put it in the fridge overnight. It's going to be the best. Mm -hmm. It gets, yeah. Don't warm it up. No, after. don't warm it up. Just take it out. I mean, it. you could warm it up, but no. it probably wouldn't taste the it's same. It's like cold and refreshing. Yeah, yeah, it's good. I missed some comments here, so yeah, let me scroll really back. Uh, Liza from New Zealand said, New Zealand is pretty young country. Ireland is, is a pretty young country. Ireland is near the UK. Yes. Ireland's near the new UK. I don't know why I thought New Zealand was there, but I think New Zealand we is We just think Ireland is really cool. New Zealand's really cool. They must be close, right? Yeah, I mean, they're so cool. They're close in heart. I don't yes. know. Yes. New Zealand is close to Australia because their accents can sometimes... That's right. Okay. I'm just kidding. And then, uh, Harveta, your hardback cookbook is all seven books. Uh, no, my uh, Cooking with Joy is volumes one through five in one book. My brand new holiday volume, which is coming in the mail tomorrow, so those Yay! of you who pre-ordered, you're getting your book, will be shipped out tomorrow. Now that holiday volume is uh, all the holiday recipes from volumes one through eight in one big book. So it's over a hundred holiday recipes to get you through these holidays coming up. So it's like all the pumpkin recipes, all the apple pie, apple crisp, apple recipes. Uh, there's a carrot cake recipe. There's a bunch of soup recipes. Everything that's just reminded me of like holidays and warm and just family and fun and all that stuff. Pumpkin pie recipes. All those are in there. You can find that on my website, weightlossrecipescookbook.com. And you can find the uh, the big book also, which is not hardcover anymore. Barnes & Noble was having issues making sure it was binded together and they just couldn't get it. So it's only available in soft cover, but it's still really it's amazing. It's still amazing. Yes. And then Lois said, so fun watching you bake together. <laughs> yeah. We finished our baking. We have our, oh my gosh, we're done. We have our parfait. We have our mango bake. Kelly's going to add her oats in the morning. Yep. Got my baggie. We got breakfast for two days. Yes. Uh, so so we have to tell them. I know it's not really that important. Who's older? Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. So, drum roll. Kelly is older. She is. I am seven years older than her. Right. I know. Who would have thought that? I used to be, you know, I used to get annoyed by people who said she was older. But now I'm cutting. I'm starting to appreciate it, so thank you. <laughs> she would always get the questions at work, and she was, like, in her 20s, and they'd be like, what grade are you in? Uh, she was like, um, I'm out of all of those. I'm <laughs> older than that. So, yeah, Kelly's seven years older, but we still are bestest friends in yeah. the world. Yeah, so fun. This was so fun with you guys. So fun. Thanks yeah. for having me. Yes, it was so fun having Kelly here. So, send me, or... Maybe if I post a recipe or you see a recipe, be like, hey, get that recipe live. And you never know what we're going to make next week. Next Thursday, we'll be back here, 2.30 p.m. Central Time. And we'll just have a fun baking time together again. It'll be so fun. Yeah, it could be a soup recipe, casserole recipe, lasagna recipe. I don't know. Think of a recipe. It could be from one of my cookbooks. It could be just, oh, I saw that on Pinterest or on your Pinterest or on your Instagram. Make that or something. It was so fun. It was really fun. I know. It's always hard to leave. I'm like, oh, I just want to cook with my friends all day. But yeah, thanks for joining. Thank you, Kelly, for being Thank here. Thank you for having me. Thanks, guys. Yes. All right. Love you guys with joy. Can you say your website again for cookbooks? I sure can't. It's weightlossrecipescookbook.com. All right. Head on over there. Check out all the recipes. You can find this video on there. Just lots of stuff. All right, love you guys with Joy and Kelly. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh, I have a thing in the board.